I am just turning my attention to this opening, opening way now. I'm some way off making these changes, but I'm thinking about it because we're looking to order the staircase and we want to get really organized and think very carefully about our openings, our heights, the staircase and everything like that. So what I've done is I have measured and marked on the inside of the room, I have measured and marked on the outside of the room, I've got my spirit level and my spray paint and my tape measure. And what I've done is I've quickly marked up on the wall here the height that we want the concrete double lintel to be that is going to support the bricks above and the bricks down at an angle below because this is where the doorway is going to be. Now, I don't know how easy it is for you to see on this, but here we've got just over 100 mil of bearing, which is what the structural engineer has specified. On this side, we've got absolutely loads because the, the doorway opening isn't gonna be any wider than here. So we've got, we've got a lot of opening on that, on that side. We're very fortunate because you'll see that we're up to the original wall plate just here, that just four courses of brick above this is the wall plate and there is nothing above there. There are these joists, which are obviously are not especially load bearing because there's no weight on this bit here. You know, there's 18 mil OSB and that's it. The supports for the, for the walls, for that wall construction, they bridge across and there are pillars of support. There's one there and there is one there and there's another one over here. So th those are the only bits that I need to pay close attention to. Now we've got one pillar just above this side and we've got one pillar just above this side. In the middle we're okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speak to the structural engineer and see what they suggest about supporting this. Cause it's a, it's a timber frame wall. You can see that stud runs there and it kind of comes just to the middle or the edge. It's a bit, bit tricky to see, to see because of parallax, but that's one timber stud there. It comes across and then it's kind of bridged across and supported like that between that pillar and that pillar over there. But that's really nice because what it means I can do is I can cut, I can install my double concrete reinforced lintels and then I can close everything back up and we've got a really nice high opening here above the staircase and then up into the room as well. So I'm very, very pleased with how that has come out. I was concerned that it might be significantly lower than this and cause us issues with the staircase and the head height and all the rest of it, but actually that's really good. I'm gonna show you the design of the staircase as well that we're gonna be going for. That's gonna be coming up in a separate video. So check, uh, look out for that. That's gonna be coming up later, how to install a staircase. We're gonna be buying it from Stairbox. I've installed a stair case from Stairbox before. It wasn't the most successful, I'll be perfectly honest. Um, there was a mistake made when it was ordered. Not, not by us, not by the people that, in, you know, we, us installing it didn't make a mistake with the measurements because we didn't measure it and order it. So I'm gonna be measuring that carefully and installing it and I'll show you that in an upcoming video. This video is gonna focus on getting this done, cutting this out, opening this up, framing out the rest of this doorway here and then giving getting this sorted good morning everybody it's the next day for me it's just carried on in the video for you and overnight i put down some boards here so that's really really secure and sturdy that's going nowhere this i appreciate is a bit precarious so i'm going to put a couple of screws in at each end it's very very solid and sturdy uh, and it blocks the gap as best I can. I still need the ladder uh, and the, the ability to get up and down. So I'm going to sort that. I'm also not really going to be standing directly on here. Um, so it's not the end of the world. I've brought up some safety equipment, safety first kids, and I've got goggles on at the minute. So I've got uh, this angle grinder here. All I'm going to do is cut very neatly and cleanly into here i'm i'm literally just looking to get through the depth of the pebble dash and what i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to strike down i'm basically just going to cut cut out along here where the pebble dash is 
pop it off using the hammer drill, SDS drill over there. And then I'm gonna be able to get a really good look at exactly what I want for these here so I can then kind of off them up, line them up, figure out the exact width and space and all the rest of it. So I'm just gonna sort that now. Okay, I've got my face mask on still, so excuse the audio. That is now done. I think it's the right height. It'll be tight for me to get it in, but I don't really want to do more than necessary. Like I said, there's only three courses. One, two, three. Three courses of brick up there. So yeah, I'm going to notch these out along here. Then I can mix up some mortar, ready to bed in the, the lintel. I'm not going to lie, I have not missed this dust while I've been sat at my desk. I really haven't. I forgot to bring up a dustpan, so I'm just going to go get a dustpan and brush to scrape all of this out and clean it up. Some of these bricks are bonded in that way. The vast majority of them just run along in straight lines. Around here they're bonded in that way because I think that is where the edge of the wall was before. You can actually see the line down here. This is where the old waste pipe was. You can see where the line of the uh, pebble dash has been butted up on one side and butted up on the other. So I'm pretty sure that is the, that's the old wall, or that's the edge of the wall. Anyway, I'm going to measure it, I'm going to clean it up, and then I'll probably start taking these out after. I'll probably put this, I might bed this first one in on this side and then remove the bricks from the other side. I'll see, I don't, I don't know yet. This is looking good. Very nice. What I need to do is put concrete lintel in. I think what I might try and do is actually just offer it up, see how long it is and whether it fits in there nicely and then I can mark out. I need at least 100 mil of bearing on each side which actually works out okay based off that there because this that plasterboard wall is going to continue straight through so we've just got 100 mil or so here so it might be that I move it over slightly this way. I might go over one one brick further to this side here, like that. And that way I've got a really nice amount of bearing on this side and on that side. I've put a screw in there and I've clamped it to this point. What it allowed me to do is to rest the concrete lintel on there while I walk it up this ladder holding it and then I can pocket it in nicely. That's the theory anyway. I've done something very similar with uh, steel beams before so I'm hoping it works with this. You can see some of the mortar I've scraped out because I've got two to go in here. But I'm just going to test one first. I appreciate that was a very short time lapse for you guys, but it was quite a long process for me and thoroughly exhausting and actually largely successful. Uh, this is just a little bit too tight, so I'm going to scrape some of this sand out. Obviously, all of this is getting removed anyway. It's only about having it bedded in here and here 
and then I can kind of pack in up the top there. So actually I need to kind of scrape a lot of this sand off. At this point that will give me clearance. I can then kind of scrape out a lot here and put a bed of mortar on at that point. But yes, it worked. It worked well. I think what I'm going to have to do, just thinking about where I'm standing, I know this looks sketchy, but it's not. It's all really, really safe and secure. On the other side, there's a staircase that's 75, 80 centimeters lower than this. So I think I'm gonna to have to take all of this brick out now and then slide the lintels through from this side one at a time. I think that's the only thing that I can do that'll actually work. That was madness. This is torrents of water. This is all now clean and swept. I've got to the lintel. I think there's a lintel above this here because the the brick has changed now. So that would be a really very good solid bed to sit this on. I've I've taken one brick further back. So I've probably got best part of 250 mil, 25 centimeters or so, maybe maybe 20 centimeters here that I can bed the lintel onto on this end. And at that end, I'll just brick it up for the fact that I've shunted it down a bit. That's fine, works really well. So that's good. So now I need to just hoover this out, I think, wet it down and then I can start mixing up the mortar that I need for this. I'm just going to dry fit uh, one of the lintels. I'm just going to check it, make sure that everything's kind of good and out of the way. Very thorough. Clean up, scrape up. I and mean, I just used a cycling water bottle actually uh, to just hose down this, get it nice and wet at both ends here because this is where I'm going to be doing the vast majority of the of the work so that's that it's all clean and scraped all of this is irrelevant because it's all going to drop out underneath when I take the bricks out so I'm just I've just realized I haven't fully scraped that out up there actually so I'm going to have to drop all that off all that mortar and then do this again but that's fine this side I had done that side and I've got enough water and a nice strong four to one mix here. It's holding its shape really nicely. When I mix it through, it sticks to the trowel really well. So that's nice. I'm happy with that. I've got very thick rubber gloves here, which I'm using because the reinforced concrete is unbelievably sharp. Very, very sharp indeed. So. I'll be holding, using those to carry it up. I've got this set back up. Just going to check whether or not I need any more moisture up in here. Now that looks nice and wet as well, so that shouldn't soak out all the moisture from the cement. So yeah, looks like we're in good shape. I'm going to set you up on a time lapse over here. Wish me luck. So that is now in, which is really good. It's gonna have 20 centimeters, so twice what the spec by the uh, structural engineer, 200 mil of bearing before I take this wall out pretty much on that crack. So that's fine there on this side, there's plenty. And I've put two, look, two bricks back in here and I've basically kind of packed them in so that's fully packed on this side. I need to do the same on the other side. I'm out of cement 
uh, mortar here so I'm done here anyway so I now need to take all my stuff down and go to the other side of the house and, and do it there. Right that is all done up here. It's slightly bigger, the gap is slightly bigger on this side because on the other lintel that's on the other side of this there was still a layer of mortar on it from the well from when it was used before so the gap here is slightly bigger which is why I slipped in easier not really a problem to be honest I've ripped off a lot of this plaster this is coming down because we're going to have a staircase coming up through here for the loft in due course but that's all done now very very solid I'm really pleased with that so I'm going to leave that to dry and set up and then just little crumbs that will drop out actually in time anyway. Once that's dry, I'll probably pick this up tomorrow. Uh, in fact, I think this will probably be the end of the video. Tomorrow, in the next video, next video for you, tomorrow for me, I will be taking, the, taking this out here. So this course of bricks, this line of bricks here, all the way up. And then I'll take this across and down to around there, which is the edge of the stairs. So that section there will come out along with that line of bricks. So I hope you found that useful, I hope you found that helpful. If you're a new subscriber to the channel, thank you. If you are just watching for, for the first time, uh, if you enjoyed this, please do like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video.